Alright, hey, Theory here, and I just made a tutorial, and I spent, it was like 20 minutes long, and I can't believe I just wasted my time talking to myself for 20 minutes. And so, I'm starting a new tutorial, I'm going to go pretty fast on the timeline. I'm going to explain what you need to know and all you need to know for now. So, basically, here you, on the sides, on the left side, you have layers. Um, layers are pretty much layers like a sandwich. The one on top is going to show up on top, the one on the bottom is going to be on the bottom, the one in the middle is going to be in the middle. So, you can always add layers by clicking this button down here, insert layers, and you'll have more layers on top of each other. But for now, we want to delete those three layers I just added. And I'll delete that by pressing this button here, and I'll delete. You can also add folders, which will uh, organize your layers by dragging and dropping them in it. But for now, uh, we're not dealing with folders. And so... Okay, so frames. Um, frames, there's going to be little rectangles, and you can insert keyframes by right clicking, or er, inserting frames, just insert frames. As you see, a blank keyframe with nothing in it will be white and have a, uh, a little white dot in it, and all the frames next to it will be white. And a, a frame with something in it, there will be, it'll be gray and have a black dot, and the rest of the frames will be gray. And so, yeah. All right. Let's start with uh, shape tween. We're gonna right click, insert keyframe, and we're gonna drag it over here and click in between those two frames. Go down to the properties. There's the tween button, and just drop it and go to shape tween. And shape tween will only work for um, for non symbols, I guess, just uh, drawings. And I'll be explaining symbols in some other tutorial. And so basically, uh, it makes a little motion tween. And you could change the easing down here by uh, changing that little number there. there. And the cool thing about uh, shape tween is that you could also change the color of the fill or anything else by going on a last key, f on a key keyframe where it's shape tween and then filling it in with that color and you'll see that it kind of fades into it and so just like that we have a shape tween also shape tweens can also morph into different um, different shapes I guess you can draw like a little blob here and when you shape tween it it will transform into it and that's cool alright so let's go on to motion tweens uh, so on the second layer or layer one, I didn't name them. So when you download it, it's gonna, you know, you know it's click. So on layer one, we'll make a keyframe over here. I press F6, which is this uh, hot key for making a keyframe, and we're just gonna drag it down here. Um, click in between those two fr keyframes again. Go down to properties, make a motion tween. And for motion tweens, your sh um, your object has to be a symbol. And by doing that, you could go up to modify, uh, convert into symbol. But I already made a symbol for you, so you don't have to do that. And so, yeah, as you can see, the layer one is on top of layer two. But let's say we want the blob to be on top of this circle. So we'll easily, we can easily just click and drag it up, and there you go. The blob is now on top of the circle. And you know, um, that's pretty much all you need to know. You can add more, uh, insert more frames, uh, make more keyframes, and you can, uh, you know, drag this one over here on this keyframe. If you, so if you, for some reason you uh, move it on this frame, the one on the left of the keyframe, it'll be moving the shape that was all the way on the first keyframe or the the closest keyframe before I guess um, and so it'll be so moving the shape on any of these frames in between two keyframes will change the position on the first keyframe which is over here so on the last keyframe we're just gonna drag it over here go in between it make a motion tween and you have another motion tween awesome isn't it you can also do it for a shape tween. We'll just draw a different shape like that. Click in between it, make a shape tween. 
and we're done. Yep, that's pretty much all I need to know. And thanks for watching. I'll be seeing you guys later. Bye bye.